My dad passed away when I was 17 years old, and that was really a turning point for me. Uh, and we didn't really grow up in the church or around um, faith by any stretch. So, um, you know, the idea of like having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, being saved, what any of that meant was so foreign to me. Like I would hear, you know, my peers talk about that, but it seemed like a world away. I feel like people gravitate toward I am second because it's genuine and because it allows people to see changed hearts. The best way for me to kind of say that it's made an impact on me is to say that it's helped me broaden the perspective of my own story. So you're looking at what I consider one of the worst people walking the face of the earth at one point in my life. Someone who didn't understand what love was, didn't know what hope was, didn't understand what faith was, didn't understand really the value of anything in the world. Was on drugs every day, was on alcohol every single day, and woke up in a jail cell with no idea of how I had even gotten there. I Am Second has personally impacted my life because it's given me a new excitement and a new drive to tell people about what Jesus has done for me. I Am Second's personally given me more hope. It's not just one person representing I Am Second, it's, it's hundreds of people. It's limitless in its impact on the kingdom of God. And my friend said, look, we can tell what you want to do right now. You want to go and drink and do your, do your normal deal. But all we can ask you is just consider that this moment right now is the rest of your life. So what you do right now is going to determine how the next 30 years or 30 days or whatever is left for you goes. God could actually use my life, He could use my mistakes, He could use my failures to actually inspire people. And through I Am Second, I've seen so many people's eyes open up to actually let God in. No one could have dreamed up how this was going to explode and how the Lord was going to use this and how people were going to be touched by the stories from I Am Second all around the globe. I looked into a mirror in that room and got a really good look at actually what I looked like. Um, and this like young, vibrant, confident guy that I thought I was, I, I finally saw through clear eyes, was this unhealthy, slovenly, overweight, sad-looking alcoholic at uh, 33 years old. I came out of the room and I told him, just take me to the rehab facility. Like, you know, I checked in. Uh, I got help. I went to, um, you know, AA meetings. And then about three months into sobriety, um, I was talking to a, a guy in, in AA and I said, you know, I just, we keep talking about the spiritual life in here and I just don't, I don't know anything about it. And, uh, and he asked me, he goes, have you ever heard of I Am Second? And I said, I don't even know what that is. I, I, I thought I was first, you know? And, uh, and he said, no, you should, you should check it out. He goes, you know, you're, it would surprise you what you find there. Uh, you know, and what you'll learn and, and what you can come to understand about what a relationship with Jesus Christ looks like. So I logged on and that changed my life. And it changed my family's life, it changed my friend's life, it changed everybody's life that I had contact with from that moment forward. You see a video pop up and it's already a language that people know and a medium that people use. It makes it something that's tangible and it is familiar and they're familiar faces and familiar stories and topics that relate to their own lives. So. It's really just about, you know, communicating in today's language. I'm like everybody else. I've got a story, but everyone has a story. And if God can use my story, then I'm willing to share it. It has literally served as a mantra for my life, always reminding me, make God first in your decisions. Make God first in your ambitions in life. The relationship with Jesus Christ, using I Am Second as a tool, is immensely invaluable. Um, when you talk about hope, when you talk about gratitude, when you talk about service, when you talk about love, all of that is available literally with a click of a mouse. And I wouldn't be the person that I am today without having done that. I'd be dead today if it wasn't for I Am Second.